Hi, it's Dave from Drive and Venture. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so already, please think about subscribing and getting that notification bell on. Today, I am reviewing this rather immense 911-992 Turbo S. <laughs> This thing has got more torque and more punch with that torque than Mike Tyson. The way it comes out of corners <laughs> and you squeeze the accelerator. And it's absolutely devastating. It's been said before that they've really stepped the game on with this car. And the word GT certainly comes to mind after just a few mere miles driving this car. The front end has just been stepped on and it feels, it feels as sharp and as focused as a GT car. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And they really moved up the power stakes with this car, 650 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. This car <laughs> gives you a thud in the back, lets you know it's, it's there. The power is all on tap. It's just urgent and ready to be released. When I drove the 911 Cab S very recently, you know, you felt the torque there at 530 newton meters. This is 800. It's grease lightning, this thing. The other thing you notice about the car when you get in it and you drive it, is that it, it sounds good and it feels really, really good too. And I think that's something which maybe the turbo char turbocharged cars are criticized for, is the sound. But here we are now, national speed limit, third gear. This is the all-rounder. This is the car which does absolutely everything for Porsche. The levels of grip that are in this car. <laughs> this car is the do-everything car from Porsche. Blistering performance. It's got comfort, these 18-way adjustable seats. Of course, I've got the heater on. I've got a heated steering wheel on. You know, I've got the gilet on, I've got a hat on, and it's, uh, you know, four or five degrees centigrade, you're cosy. <laughs> and having a whale of a time and really enjoying yourself. Now I've got this in Sport Plus. It's dialed up for manual at the moment. So I'm in charge of the gears. If you put it into the pure PDK mode, again, it has a sixth and seventh and eighth sense it knows exactly what gear you want as you're approaching the corners, as you're powering out of the bends. It just knows what you want. And the only thing connected to me at the moment is a microphone. <laughs> you would say, you would say that the gearbox is connected to my brain. It knows exactly what I want and when I want it. The other thing about this car which makes it special is it has phenomenal stopping power. They've stepped up the ceramic composite brake option which is standard on a Turbo S. So you're not ticking that box and spending 7,000 pounds. They give it to you as part of the list price. Now, 420 millimeter front rotors, those discs are enormous. And I believe it's 490 in the back. So you, you have got some real arresting capability to scrub off that speed when you want it. But you can position the car and get it ready for the manoeuvre. <laughs> And you don't have to worry because it's got so much juice that when you want to accelerate, it's all over. <laughs> it's all over in a matter of seconds. Now today it's great to be filming such a great and capable car in such a wonderful and great location, which is the Hawes Road. One of my favourites, we were here when we filmed the 997 4 litre. I'm hoping to pitch that at car again at some point in the future. 
You know, I can see why there's hardly any of these cars for sale. The people that have got these cars, the early allocations for these cars, they're not going to want to let them go. Because <laughs> it's so devastating. It's so exciting. It is the car that does absolutely everything. You could get in this car, you could plot for the south of France, and you would absolutely love the journey there. And because of the comfort factor, you wouldn't really feel it. You know, it's got absolutely everything. It's, it's kind of off the scale, really. It's off the scale bonkers quick. 2.9 seconds, while I know people have tested the, the coupe and have achieved 2.55. Porsche are always conservative when it comes to its statistics on performance. So this is almost a second quicker than my GT3 RS. So that really puts it into perspective of what this car is capable of doing at the straight ahead. Launch control, would you really need it? I mean, it's just, it's just an absolute animal. And as soon as you put your right foot on that accelerator pedal and give it some inputs, it's, it's rapid, it's instant. There's just no lag, you know. Yes, I think probably it's not as urgent as a GT car. But you're not, you're, not, you're not left waiting. You're not left waiting for the torque to arrive, you know? You're not standing around thinking, when's that gonna come in? It's there. And the cornering ability in this car is unbelievable. You know, having driven this car, I think I want one. <laughs> I, I, I think I do want one. I can see, I can see the residual value of these cars being extremely, extremely strong. Jeff Capes are strong. <laughs> I just don't think people that get these cars and get driving them are gonna to wanna to give them up. Um, just so much, so much to offer the motorist. Now I was in two minds, because I put the jungle juice in and put that petroleum spirit in at Fulton Services on the way up here today. I thought to myself, shall I? Shall I take the roof down for the uh, for the video so I can give you all that, you know, give it to you as I was on the way to the filming point? Well, hopefully you're capturing some of that. It's got the wind deflector in the back. You've got the windows up. It's cosy. It's comfortable. It's electrifying. <laughs> Okay, so the Turbo S from Porsche, the 992, this is a monster of a car. And what really stands out for me is its torque on the road is <laughs> just grease lightning. This car feels like a GT car. The front end is so, so impressive. This is uh, in resplendent agate grey, which is a colour I've got up close and personal with today a bit, and I really, really like it. The next thing which stands out on the car is these 911 turbo exclusive wheels. 20 inch at the front, 21 inch at the back. And what Porsche have done to give you that little bit more grip on the road, the now 255 section front, we have now got 420 millimeter carbon ceramic rotors standard on the Turbo S. And these are 10 piston, 10 pot brake calipers. And this thing stops <laughs> like nothing else. It goes like grease lightning, but it, it really does stop extremely, extremely well. Running the Pirelli uh, N marked tires. This is now eight millimeters wider than the standard chassis on a Carrera. So you're getting plenty of girth and this thing, it just looks so mean. It just looks powerful. You look at it and you go, yeah, this can do 200 miles an hour, and it can. It'll do 206 miles an hour. Looks so superb with the roof down. 
this rear spoiler, this is turbo, it's Porsche turbo, you know, if you didn't have turbo on there, you know it was a turbo, but this increases in height, raises in height. As you're pressing on or you go into sport plus mode, it just comes up out of the, the rear of the car. That's absolutely fantastic. Sports exhaust, which you've got to pay extra for, but it does sound good. Another fab detail on the car, the turbo makes you know it's a turbo. You have these air ducts which come in the rear haunch, is this really nice wide track um, Turbo S chassis now. And the air just gets funneled in and these have been painted in a, great, a gate grey with the body colour of the car. Absolutely fantastic. Down here you've got uh, a black side skirt and these come out here. It's like a bit of a mini wing on an aeroplane. It's all about downforce, it's all about performance. And I mean, this car, it just picks up and goes. It's just, it's just sensational. Unbelievable performance. So practical too, you know, you can put some perhaps grumbling passages in the back seats if necessary, um, two plus two. But fantastic grey crayon stitch, black leather interior, Burnmeister sound system. But I'm preferring to listen to the soundtrack of the car itself because it pops and bangs. I mean, the exhaust, it pops, it's great. It really has stepped it on. This is certainly at GT level when it comes to handling and performance, but it's comfortable too. I mean, it, it, you know, it really, really is. Let's hop inside and check out some of the interior detailing of the car. The other 992s that I've driven recently, obviously what you don't get in the other 911 models is the Turbo S in the rev counter. It's really brought it on the cabin um, in the 992. It's got a bit of a 993S kind of feel to it. You know, my, my pal uh, Paul's 993S, you know, you've got this sort of drop dash and it's really nice. This is a Got a carbon carbon effect here. This is spec with Burmeister speakers. You've got your memory seat option here. You've got your window. I think I will say, you know, when you're driving along, you've got to sort of you know, move your arm back a little bit. To, that I think would be better, which is slightly further forward. But uh, yeah, you've got your memory seat option on there. Burmeister sound system, your light functions here. This has got keyless entry and go, so you don't actually have to put the key in with this car, which is a nice touch. Up here, you've got your front uh, axle lift, you've got sports exhaust, hazard warning, traction control, and the Porsche dynamic control, stability control, which is this car, the way it handles and the bends, it's unbelievable. It defies the law of physics, it really does. But I do like the cabin um, in black, this crayon stitch, very, very special. So down here, you've got the buttons to put the roof down, put the roof up, heated seats. This button's cool because you've got your wind deflector, you, you select this button here and that will raise the deflector um, to stop with the buffeting of the wind in the cabin when the roof's down and it's cool to drive this car even when it's cold. It's been very cold today but it's still been cool to have the roof off you know as you've been driving it and of course you've got your, your Turbo S here on the headrest too so it's significantly more expensive than a standard Carrera or, or a Carrera S but you know it really steps the game on. This is this this really is a car which I think is definitely worth the money. And of course, they're not easy to get. So you've got to be pretty pretty well off to, to afford one. Um, but a sensationally compelling proposition from Porsche, and I can see why there's just hardly any of these for sale. The steering's fantastic. The driving position's great. These seats, 18-way adjustable. This 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 car would not suit a bucket seat. It's comfortable. This is an intercontinental cruiser across Europe. You could, you could take this car on a long, long tour and you get out feeling fresh, even though it's thrilled you <laughs> at every single mile of the journey. It really is a sensational car. You've got your drive mode here. So you've got your sort of standard mode, Sport and Sport Plus. Sport Plus, it's comfortable, um, but it just dials the car up and just takes you to the DEFCON 3 level for performance. And it's so accomplished and it's been a thrilling drive today. <laughs> this car is is that unlike the GT3 you can't ever get relaxed in it you can't ever sit back and go yeah I'm just gonna like just chill because the way the GT3 RS is set up is that it urges you on you know the way the gearbox is so responsive with the PDK Turbo S what this car does is it it allows you and doesn't urge you 
necessarily to go to DEFCON 3 and blow your socks off with that accelerator. You can sit back and cruise. This is a car you can take to your workplace and feel relaxed getting there and feel relaxed getting back. I find the RS, it just steps on the emotion. It just steps on you and says, come on, you know. But with this, it almost delivers a stealth-like performance, which just, it just really takes your breath away. You know, you don't need to worry about going into the paddles really, because, you know, what it does, what it does in, automatic PDK mode. I mean there now. Jesus. I mean it's just it's just no nonsense. It's just no fuss. It's just you're there. You know. Worth every penny. Absolutely worth every penny. If the call comes and you can be offered one of these cars, don't say no. You need to buy it. So there we have it, this incredible 992 Turbo S from Porsche. This car has absolutely blown me away. This is quite some car and I can see why so few of them are for sale. Thanks again to the owner for having access to this car today. And as always, I'll see you next time.